Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. The new BMW 2 Series Grand Coupe 2020 model is right here actually. We have the M235E uh, 2 liter engine petrol 305 horsepower X-Drive um, is the, the, the model, the version right here in front of me. And today I will go um, into detail interior exterior i will try to review it for you guys and show you as many uh, detail as possible um actually to be honest it is a big big um big improvement uh from the previous version 2 series and in comparison with the 2 series it is amazing it has a great design a uh, very good aerodynamic uh, also beautiful rims you can see here brake calipers um you can see it in blue because we have this m package uh on the car so um actually here uh also around the window also um there are these plastic glossy black that make the car look much more uh modern in my opinion also blinkers full led lamps uh in the back in the front headlight tail light all LED and the shape of the car in the back. It's super nice. I love the, the bumper. I love the lines, the design and everything. Uh, here you can see closely the BMW signature right here on the tail light and the LED light in the three dimensional shape look um, phenomenal in my opinion. I like the way they, they add this glossy plastic uh, from, the, from left to right and um they they kind of stick together the um the tail light now on the mirror black mirrors led lights also in the mirror i like the fact that it's all all over black glossy plastic even here on this uh, leg of the of the mirror down here we have just an led light that illuminate the floor in the night we have the blind spot technology right here in the mirror you can see actually the mirrors have have a nice shape they are so big so you have a great great visibility also in the front um led light uh, on the blinkers and not only the daylight uh this this beautiful shape of the daylight uh we have also for high beam and low beam led light and also adaptive led uh from bmw kind of the latest technology we don't have the laser one but uh it's still uh very very good now the grill in the front uh it's glossy plastic you will see it a little bit later the bumper down there sporty bumper looks super nice we have even on the handle an led light here that illuminate in the night very nice uh i like this kind of stuff also keyless entrance you can see there on the handle and also here in the back the same story same led light on the handle uh, i think those look very nice in the night and going up to the windows you can see here around the windows glossy uh, black plastic around there uh, that make the car look much more nice and uh, i see that many many car company premium car company use this plastic tinted windows in the back they have a nice nice uh, shape there and also we will go in the interior but before there uh, here up here we have the camera and the raining sensors the camera uh, help for the uh, lane assist and also for reading the traffic speed limit uh, bmw logo here also by the way if you are in switzerland automarty.th um, you can check out those um, cars price and also test drive it nice shape as you can see here the car have a few lines on the side but the shape it's phenomenal it's it's also look like a very sporty aggressive car and um the aerodynamic of the car it's it's well made and um it's fantastic you have a great grip on the road with this car now let's go to the rims here guys we have ventilated discs also the m package um brake calipers in blue 19 inch rims here if you are interested in tires and there you can see the, the ventilated brake discs 
the M logo right there on the brake caliper. You cannot see it so well because of the rims. But I think the rims, the 19 inch rims fit perfectly with this car. Um, now going in the front uh, on the bumper, we have six parking sensors in the front right here, guys. Also some glossy plastic um, here on the side that looks super nice. Um, here we have some air um, intake kind of for a better aerodynamic and there it's go the air inside it's a radiator and then it's go the air directly to the brake to cool down the brake a little bit also here the air come inside and go uh, outside there here we have the radar for adaptive cruise control emergency brake all that stuff the, the front grille here it's closed right now but it's open when the, the engine need a little bit of cool down so it's kind of nice to see those um, nice design here um, beautiful design anyway uh, in my opinion uh, this is the, the bumper it's very nice it's the M bumper that you find it also on the other BMW if you didn't see it check out on my channel the other videos with the BMW so you can see the same uh, front bumper on the M uh, package car so um, yeah in my opinion it's it looks super nice and you can combine it with all BMW models uh, they make the car look very nice anyway uh, I have to tell you guys um, this car interior is also uh, very very improved and you will see it in a moment also a few lines sharp edges here on the on the hood um, that also make the car um, look better down here some plastic glossy black plastic with white combination um, and then um, yeah from the side you can see it right now from the side on the right side here in the back we have also this um, tank where you can fuel your tank and we have the normal version we don't have the easy fuel so it's just uh, you have the, the previous version of uh, tank so um, yeah it's nothing new there you can see also here the lines from the side of the car and then the back is my favorite uh, i love the back of the car i love this bumper we have uh, again six parking sensors in the back uh, we have this kind of nice uh, insertion of plastic with some holes a little bit here uh, for a better look in my opinion it's, it's look much better then you have some light reflectors um, here uh, and then you have this glossy plastic with the exhaust pipes and then the real one are right there in the middle in the back um, they look super nice and the air diffuser um, very nice design in my opinion and I like this glossy plastic it looks super nice just like that uh, and then going up we have reverse camera LED lights on the number plate of course um, as expected and then this is the back um, here you can see the M235E then the X drive logo on the other side and then going up a little bit you will see immediately this uh, spoiler right there uh, and also this line that come together and uh, stick together the, the tail light up here we have some glossy plastic spoiler a little small spoiler that helped the car um, uh, g-force it helped to keep the car better grip on the road and a better stability also there is the antenna for radio um, nice design also here in simple um, tinted windows also in the back uh, so um, yeah that's that that's a nice design let me go inside the trunk guys now to show you the space uh, we don't have a automatic lift gate it's just manually you have the um, triangle there here you have two handles on the side and stuff material I like this leg here I like the way BMW designed these uh, trunks with these legs just like that it's a nice design here we have some rubber that protect the water to not go inside the car like it's happening in Tesla Model 3 
so it's kind of nice to have this rubber a little bit bigger here and uh, it will stop the car uh, it will stop the water going inside the trunk now here we have some plastic at the entrance kind of one centimeter deepness there some space here in the right side uh, where you can put your stuff 12 volt board also here on the right and we have some hooks there in the corners um, and it's quite bit pretty big in my opinion it's pretty big there we have an led light up then you have these handles that you pull it and then you can push down uh, the seats you can fold down all the free seats here we have another 10 centimeter uh, deepness so in my opinion the trunk um, it's, it's quite big it's very spacious uh, here you have the, the medical kit you cannot open it the, the town part so this is all I try to, to see what it's under but I cannot uh, I cannot take it out so I guess this is all the trunk but for a coupe car it's quite big and in my impression my, my first impression is that you have plenty plenty of space here in the trunk also it's easily you pull that um, handles and then you push it and you can see how easy it is to pull down the seats and you have an amazing space and you have a flat floor there so um, if you look from outside you never think that um, this new BMW 2 Series Coupe would have so much space here in the back and I like it more with four doors like that it's amazing you have a sporty coupe car with four doors um, that look phenomenal I think this will be the competitor the, the Mercedes A-Class um, Coupe if you see it in my channel check it out if you didn't see it will be a big competitor for, for this 2 Series Coupe uh, the entrance in the car it's quite small here because they, they keep the, the, the windows right here these small windows, this small part they keep it there we have frameless windows here uh, as you can see uh, pretty nice design here I don't know if you can see it the camera didn't want to focus there but this is the entrance now you can see in the interior the space you can make an idea I like the flat floor uh, I think in my opinion you have plenty plenty of space there in the back and then uh, it is kind of a huge huge space in, in the car there guys and then looking on the legs room you have plenty of leg room there um, a lot of space there and also on the other side plenty of space uh, even with the seat folding down up here we have great quality to LED light and some glossy plastic soft material on the, on the roof good quality on the roof as well and on the door as well guys uh, soft material almost everywhere um, it feels nice as you touch it good quality even the handles are very nice then going down we have some some kind of um, I don't know some kind of plastic but very nice design the trim it's nice and there inside here we have the LED light so we have ambient light inside this plastic and we have the speaker the the stop material down here some uh, LED light uh, with blue stitches uh, some leather <laughs> with blue stitches and then here we have plenty of storage space in the door in the back a lot of storage space so um, I like the design of the door now you can see the back of the front seats we have Alcantara almost everywhere uh, some nice glossy design sport seats uh, some storage space down here um, and then let me go forward we have two USB-C ports down there I think you can see it and then the vents right here in the middle the vents kind of simply they are just simply nothing add to the vents um, everything it's the way it was before now I like the fact that here it's Alcantara on the side and not plastic I like also the, um, the seat belt and I like very much the Alcantara here on the side this is amazing it's very comfortable for the passengers uh, and then we have Alcantara seats blue stitches uh, isofix for the kids you can see even in the middle there we have the fabric material in blue kind of bluish the same same design of the seats as BMW uses with and the seats are very comfortable uh, 
is something that you should keep in mind. Even the center armrest, it's in Alcantara, you can see right here. Uh, we have the classic uh, cup holders from BMW right here in the middle. Um, very good quality. Also, you can you have a button here, you can hold down only the middle seat and you can carry long items without any problem there uh, in, the, in the back. So I like that very much. Um, very, very useful. Also, the, the headrest. You can adjust it in the middle there the way you want it and um, yeah very good quality in the interior um, that's for sure now let's see guys the space in the back right here and um, you can see in the back I have plenty of space on my knees uh, actually uh, in my version it's it's a huge space and um, yeah I can believe in a coupe car I have so much space on my legs you can see in the front the seats are kind of in normal position uh, for the driver uh, let me close the door and let me show you the head space here on the head space is not so yeah maybe one finger it's not so amazing the space but on the legs it's quite good if i go a little bit in the front then it will be much better so no problem uh for me it's no problem there i like the way they put this window so I have good visibility on the windows. Um, here we have also um, kind of a hook right here. So no handle, just a hook. Good quality on the roof. Um, here in the middle we have those LED lights that I told you before. Uh, let me go in the middle. In the middle here we have plenty of legs room. So the good thing on the car is that you have plenty of leg room. The bad thing is that you don't have space on my head. It's my head. It's it's there. It's up there. No space. But if I go in the front, it will be much much better. So you have to go uh, with your legs in the front, and then uh, you have much more space. In the left, in the right, it's more space. Uh, so three people here. Yeah, you can you can go easily for short trips. No problem. Um, and keep in mind that it is. A coupe car and it has this amazing shape for better aerodynamic and better sportiness so being able to have three people in the back with this space it's quite good beautiful design of the dashboard we have the newest dashboard newest technology right here the e um, e7 this uh, infotainment system and multimedia system but we will go in the moment there also um, the doors here in the front, the same great quality. Uh, you can see right here uh, on the upper side, it's soft material everywhere. Also, we have the lock and unlock the doors and the buttons for the electric seats because this car come with the electric seats. Uh, speaker right here, the buttons, electric windows, electric mirror, adjustable mirror. Then we have the speaker, the same fabric material in blue. We have inside here the LED light, uh, ambient light. It's inside this uh, gray uh, plastic there. It's kind of amazing the way they do it. And also we have plenty of storage space in the door. Uh, then we have leather with that blue uh, stitches, the same as in the back. The M231E logo with some uh, stainless steel right here. And also the pedals are stainless steel right there great quality electric adjustable seat and then in the front the same um, amazing quality sport seats those are the m sport seats that we find it on the bmw 2 series grand coupe and uh, alcantara almost everywhere um, and then you can see right here some glossy plastic in the middle there uh, and then we have this fabric material in blue in the middle uh, so amazing I think and we have the side support and they are actually very comfortable even the seat belt you see it in the back already then uh, we have the center console there and then the dashboard um, it is great the steering wheel also amazing quality here we have the new controllers for the light um, I think you already know it, you already see it in the other cars, it's very easy to control everything and the quality is better. Also this nice plastic trim here around the vent look nice. The 
vents feel good as you touch it with quality soft material even here you can see and the same nice trim with little little uh, bubbles there on the um, on the dashboard look fantastic also the car come with the head-up display right there in the front i think you can see it right there um head-up display from bmw it's one of the best a speaker and everywhere on the dash it's soft material with uh, blue stitches and, and fantastic quality we have the vent in the right side right there uh, and then a speaker on the a pillar also an interesting design the way they chose to do it in the corners there uh, for the vents and uh, of course soft material everywhere so let me close the door to show you uh, forward so now guys um, the newest is infotainment system you will see it also in the moment and um, i like the way they integrate this um, this uh, new uh, dashboard so here you can see also the the glow box is quite big a lot of light inside so uh, you can see it easily there also i like this this trim on the dashboard um it's, it's super nice it looks super super nice the way it is all over the dash and the way they integrate the multimedia system with the cockpit it's super nice also we have right here the star stop engine button and you can see immediately the new um, digital cockpit i think you already see it i make a full review with this new cockpit and multimedia system on my channel uh, for bmw so you can check it out on my channel if you want to go into details there uh, I'm not going to go in details, I don't want to make so long this video, but uh, you can check it on my channel if you are interested in that. Also, you can control different functions from these buttons, uh, for example, on the cockpit or on the multimedia system. You can customize the, the right side, the left side is for driving, and the middle is also customizable. You can have the, the navigation right there in the middle. We have a uh, heated steering wheel, we have this great great m steering wheel a great quality very nice grip also clappers for changing the gear manually if you want to we have a speaker right here down on the a pillar um, let's stay on the door i think you see it already and then we have here in the middle the vent and the, the other stuff clappers you already see it i already told you about them and here we have the controllers and on the other side you have the controller for the cockpit so from this controller you can you can change different function on the cockpit on the right side only the right side is customizable um, the middle one also you can put the navigation and in the left side is the, uh, the driving information great visibility around the windows you can see it as well here um, also you can see that that the car have fantastic units at the bay you have fantastic visibility we have a leather here armrest in the middle uh, that you can open it and you have plenty of space here also on a usb port uh, right there so you, i think you can see the usb c port very useful some glossy plastic right here in the middle console and then we have electric handbrake auto hold echo different driving mode echo sport every time you, you change the driving mode you change the color of the cockpit um, and here we have the controls for the multimedia system it's very simple while you're driving it's, it's recommended to use only these controllers from the center console and not a touch screen you can use it also as a touch screen but it's better to use it from there uh, as you know the new um, digital uh, instrument a cluster and the new multimedia system e7 it's fantastic at the bmw one of the best it doesn't have any lag at all it's very responsive and you have plenty plenty of uh, customizable thing and um, also uh, great resolution nice colors here we have the stick to change the gears guys it looks super nice glossy black and then we have some buttons here for the parking sensors also uh, traction control here we have usb port two cup holders and a space where you can charge your phone the same center console that you find it also on the bmw 2 series
uh, and one series as well. So uh, here are the controls for the media classic classic plastic button and also the climatic system right here. Very simple to adjust things. Hit it, it's it of course. And here the vents. I like the vents very much. The design of the vents. Uh, it's very nice. Um, yeah. So. Uh, blinkers there and here in the middle you, you can see the usually the climatic system information the mirror it's also very tiny and nice it has a nice design up here and also up on the roof we have the some lights button SOS button and nothing else um, just the microphone there I wish it was a glassy support up there also a light here and a mirror small mirror that you can see yourself in it for those of you that really use it um, now what can I say a few words but I don't want to go too much into detail so you can see you can customize the right side on the, on the digital cluster there you can customize and choice what you like to see in the right in the middle usually is the, the navigation system also you when you when you choose a destination you can also see it in the middle here the multimedia system you have all the menu right there in the left it's very easy to use as a touch screen or with the controllers i don't want to go into detail check out on my channel if you want to see the the new multimedia system from bmw the full review it's on my channel so check it out there uh, because if i go in detail i will make it very long this video so uh, check it out but anyway amazing quality i think bmw make big big forward steps with this those new cars in 2020 uh, also here you have a small space where you can put your stuff i want to show you also the engine for those of you that are interested the way the engine look like and then um, we will close up so let me go in the front uh, to open up the trunk here uh, i think it is something here or i think I have to pull it two times. I think I make a mistake. I have to go back to open it up again. So let me go back. So you have to pull two times, pull it two times in order to open it uh, on BMW. It's much more easy than on other cars. Here's the M Performance um, BMW engine, uh, two liter engine, 305 horsepower, uh, 450 Newton meter um amazing powerful engine on this car so this uh image tell you something then um that's good so what can i say guys at the end of this video i will give you all the information price and all the the information about the car you can check it out you can also pause the video to see it i hope you enjoy this video um if you enjoy it please subscribe to my channel if you want to see uh, more of these new cars um, interior exterior reviews and all that stuff also test drives so thank you for watching guys please subscribe to my channel check out my other videos and stay safe um, see you soon in the next one bye guys